what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more black sales today we're doing episode five of black sale hope you guys are enjoying the reactions man you guys are giving me some good feedback in the comment section so i really do appreciate that because some of my videos don't really get comments so you know i have to thank you guys when you actually take the time out to actually comment on the videos um because it does help the channel to grow it does help watch time you know if you take the time out to actually comment on the videos and leave a like on the videos i know i don't do tons of views around here but we are watching the shows i'm enjoying the shows that's really all that matters um yeah so um the storyline is with flint eleanor um is mysterious girl that we you, you know that we just found out it looks like he's gonna turn against flint against flint because she ran away with him or whatever the situation is and she will do anything to get back to that life it seems but i don't know yet i wonder if eleanor's father you know what i'm saying what she proposed if she's really going to take him up on that but we'll see how things go you know we got vane which is you know he'll do anything in my opinion he'll do anything for eleanor but we'll see how that goes um but anyways, man, it seems like Billy is like, you know, getting more fearful of Flint or, is, you know, really sorry that he actually took up for Flint, um, according to what, what happened in the past with Singleton and all, and what has been happening. Now I'm rooting for Flint because is, if this turns out to be a personal thing, why he's doing this which I don't think so yet. Yeah, that might be something, but I don't think he's doing this for Eleanor. I think he's actually doing this so that he can create a sanctuary for for all these criminals. <laughs> I think that's what he truly wants to do and he wants to be the king of it. I think that's probably the ulterior motive that a lot of people is not seeing is that he wants to be the king of this island where they secure themselves and have it you know forts and you know uh all these other stuff that they could set up to deter just in case the english or whoever they are come for them to end this piracy so let's jump into these reactions i will see you guys for the review all right so that was black sales episode five hope you guys enjoyed the reaction man um i know i didn't say much during that reaction but man eleanor's father is a hoe man mr guthrie you know what i'm saying like he a hoe bruh he a hoe it's straight up hoe man like i get where he's coming from but to undermine his daughter like that like no respect man no respect what is captain vane up to who knows i have zero clue as to what this guy is going to do i guess he's trying to find his purpose and his purpose is not on the island anymore i, don't, I wonder if flint was the objective from the get-go if that's what he's saying i don't know you know what i'm saying but they've boarded um to get those guns right but these guys have locked themselves up um i don't know my demeanor changed a little bit i do not like to see not that i don't want shows to sh to do it but i just and it's not cringy it's just it just creates this feeling in me because i know the history you know what i'm saying I know the history and I just don't like, I don't like seeing it to see the, you know, Africans in, 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 in slavery. I just don't like to see it. Um, and I'm not saying that shows shouldn't stay authentic to the time period or whatever the situation is. Not what I'm saying. I'm just saying me personally, like it is this gut feeling and this broken heartedness that comes with seeing that, you know what I'm saying? so that's all it is that's all it is um uh um but it seems like mr scott 
got tricked. He didn't know that, you know what I'm saying, that Mr. Guthrie was going to sell him out. He didn't know that. Now you were slave with the rest of them. Um, you know, and, and it just goes to show you that when it comes to, to, to um, like, slavery guys, like, it doesn't matter if it's black people or if it's white people, you know, it's always a, 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 a it's, it's always, I always feel that way about it, you know what I'm saying, so, even in the last kingdom, like, I literally, you know, when, um, Uhtred was, you know what I'm saying, going through, I think it was season two and stuff like that, and what he went through, as in being a slave, and stuff like that, it was nearly as long as, you know, actual slavery that happened, you know what I'm saying, but, at the same time, it, 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 you know, I still felt very heartbroken about it for his character. You know what I'm saying? Um, because slavery is a real thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that the show is not real. Is not what I'm saying. So don't take what I'm saying out of context. You know, um, it's just it's it's kind of like when you see anything portraying the the, the Holocaust or you get what I'm saying? It just, it's not depression. It's, I don't want to say it's depression because it's, it's not the a feeling of depression. It's just this, this feeling of why did this have to happen? Why is this history? You know what I'm saying? Like, why was there a period of time in mankind where people thought it was okay to enslave another set of people <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's crazy you know um so it seems like billy found some sort of note seems like he found some sort of note towards um the situation that's going on with um uh what, what's his name situation that's going on with Miss Barlow, right, some letter of sorts, I don't know what it is, um, but they're hold up well under there, and it seems like there's only one way in, so if they can get, I don't know how they're going to breach it, but I think Flint is going to figure out a way to, 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 to actually breach it, but we'll see how that go, they're being, you know what I'm saying, it's in, you know, Scarborough or whatever, the name of that other ship that's approaching, they need to get a move on, you know what I'm saying, they either gotta book it and leave those guns, you know what I'm saying, or they gotta find a way into that place really quickly and take them out, you know, because it's a sense, it's, it's the stage of, you know, it's a stage of betrayal, because, you know, from the moment, you know, you know, Scott trusted the, the, the dad over the daughter, you know what I'm saying, uh, which I think he shouldn't have, he should have never done, I know that Eleanor has been ignoring Scott this entire time, but I think in some ways she, she deserves the benefit of the doubt with certain things when it comes on to Scott, because they've been together for so long as, you know what I'm saying, it seems like he's known her since she was a little girl, you know what I'm saying, and I mean, from what the father described, right, Mr. Guthrie, right so from what he described it seems like scott knew her from she was a little girl so it's kind of like but at the same time because they've been so long with the island and the stuff that has been going on on the island i think she deserved some benefit of the doubt of the decisions that she made you know she you know he could back her a little bit more i know sometimes it may seem like she's in over her head but i believe that eleanor can accomplish a lot of things because she has accomplished a lot already by being respected by all these alpha males around her. She's being respected and you know what I'm saying? Because that's how they eat. You know what I'm saying? That's how they eat. So they got to respect her and she commands that respect. She demands it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so I really do appreciate her character for that. Now she might've went overboard banning Captain Vane, but at the same time, you know, 
I still don't like I'm I'm not gonna throw shade at her character because she made one mistake so far you know what I'm saying she she's you know it's kind of like they're stringing out a lot of mistakes for her now but I don't think the thing with her father is is a mistake it's more of like a misjudgment thinking that he was going to do the right thing and to to you know because you know he I think what they should have done in that situation they should have never left him in the room with that guy by themselves I don't think he should have done I don't think they should have done that I think I think what he said they should have told him hey if he says we need to be we need to be alone you let him know like anything you have to say to me you can say in front of you can say in front of my daughter you get what I'm saying or something of the sort I think they should have instructed him is that if you don't do that we gonna get the the, the blickies out and we gonna hold both of y'all in here until we get what we want you know what I'm saying so they could have done that they could have strong armed it but i don't know i don't know because at this point is it is like i like his perspective on leadership too um talking about flint i like his perspective on leadership when he was talking to billy and telling them listen if you tell these guys the whole truth they're probably going to panic and a lot of times that happens i've been in those positions before where you really didn't you can't tell them the whole truth, the, the whole truth about a certain situation because they'll panic, they'll go out of their minds and they, they'll lose focus and not want to do it or they'll run away or you get what I'm saying? When you're dealing with people and you know who you're, who is working under you or who you're leading, you got to know when to tell them stuff versus when not to tell them things. And it's not lying. It's more of like, it's more leading more than anything else, right? And some people might disagree with that, but it is out. A lot of times, you gotta you gotta run a business, or you gotta run a, a, a group meet, or w whatever it is. Any any case, guys, the series is good. I love it. I love the storyline. I get so immersed into the action, even though it's not really action. But but it, it's like I'm talking about like I'm talking about like I get so immersed not just the action scenes because the action scenes are really brutal like you, you see stuff that you're just like because the thing about it is this a lot of times you know I, I like sometimes people just come on this channel and they would be like how have you watched this show and this show and this show and you're still so squeamish guys i will never get used to seeing certain things okay yes i'm not gonna be surprised every time it happened but sometimes some things are just they catch you off guard you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna be like eh, that you know what i'm saying like if you're not doing that when you see a guy bite into someone's neck and you see blood spurting out like something is probably wrong with you you're probably too desensitized to stuff like that like this is not stuff you see every day so when you see it you know what i'm saying like if that's something you see every day i don't know where you live <laughs> you know what i'm saying you live in a war zone because I know that there are people who actually live in war zones and this and, and probably random acts of violence that probably just happens every day or bombs dropping or people get shot and, and, and stuff like that. I know that there are people that live in those environments, but I'm pretty sure they're not watching my videos <laughs> or watching TV shows. OK, so. Um, but in any case, guys, you guys have been awesome. I appreciate you guys you guys are watching the videos we are we're averaging for somewhere around 150 um, views per upload and of course I wish more people would watch the show on my channel but it is okay not worried about it um, just hopefully one day this channel can get the recognition that it deserves and I do appreciate you guys for being here and showing love to the reactions man I appreciate y'all leave a like on the video leave a comment and I will catch you guys later man peace